To emboss or engrave text into a surface, we need to use a Boolean modifier targeted at a mesh converted from a text object. So let's just add a text object. So add text. There's our text. We'll orientate and position this where we need it to be. Then in object data properties for the text object, once the text object is selected, we can set the text's position relative to the origin point. So we use alignment for that. Horizontal, center, vertical, center. That repositions the text relative to the center of mass of the object. We can change the font. So click on the folder icon, select a font, remembering that the more complex the font, the more complex the Boolean operation later on. So that's the font changed. To then change the text itself while selected, just enter edit mode, backspace and type. Exit edit mode, toggle back into object mode, we can scale the text. That's all we need to do to the text object itself. So once we've got that set up, we need to convert it to a mesh object. So with our text object selected, object convert mesh. Object convert mesh. We'll get a little pop up, convert to down in the bottom corner. Keep original, select that, and make sure mesh is the option that's selected, and that will create a mesh duplicate from our text, the original text, which we can keep to modify if we need to. So hide that, select our text. Now to give it some depth, what we can do is use modifier. So in modifier properties, add modifier, solidify, Give our text some depth, increase the value. Let's just show the wireframe so that we can see the complexity of the font. And then we can either add a decimate modifier and set that to planar. And this will reconstitute the mesh and rebuild it to be more efficient. Or we can add a remesh modifier. And this will do a similar thing, reconstitute the mesh using quads or faces. So for this, we want to set sharp, disable remove disconnected, and then set the octree depth until we have our font correctly displayed. Obviously, we can use either or, the difference being what that does to the Boolean operation later on. So once we've got that set, let's minimize that. We can Boolean that into our surface. So for that, we need to select the object that's going to be affected by the text, modify our properties again, Add modifier, boolean. Add that, and then in object, we need to set our text as the target. So we can either select it from the list, or we can use the eyedropper and select the object in the 3D view. That will set it as a target object. And all we need to do now is move that into position and it will intersect and boolean our object. So if we hide our text, 
we can see the boolean and we can set that to engrave emboss and intersect but that is basic boolean text or embossing engraving text into a surface using boolean